as geographers, we love to melt your minds with maps. So we're going to do that uh, using various types of maps we talked about earlier in the semester. We'll begin with the old red state, blue state map, which we see here. Uh, but we're going to do some morphing to it. Uh, one of the things we know is we see a lot of red on this map that's kind of a bit misleading because you have a lot of big states that are big area-wise, but not too big population-wise. So what this guy did, this physicist from uh, University of Michigan, Mark Newman, what he did was he based the size, or made a proportional symbol map of the states based on how many electoral votes they have. And so if a state has, uh, a, a course, of course, a, a large population, a lot of electoral votes, it's going to be much bigger than what it is shown here. And so this is what he does. He's going to go ahead, we'll go ahead and move this through. And you can see now the proportional symbol map. You can see now those bigger states population-wise, like New York, like California, uh, stick out much more. You can also see how he re relates each uh, state's electoral uh, vote count, i.e. Uh, size of its state, based on Michigan, which we can see there right in the middle. It's normal. All other ones are based off of Michigan. That makes sense because he's from there. Now we go one step further. Now let's take a look at the county level. And now if we look at the county level, we can see even more red on this map. Uh, of course, once again, that makes sense because we find rural counties uh, that are very sparsely populated, typically Republican, where urban counties uh, definitely uh, stick out. We can see if we zoom in, if you focus in on Indiana and uh, much of the... Uh, Great Lakes, you can see the urban areas of Chicago, Columbus, Ohio, Indianapolis, Louisville, Memphis, uh, Nashville. You can see a lot of those urban counties very much stick out amongst all of that red. Now let's take it one step further. And so we do a proportional symbol map now for based on uh, how, uh, county size. So uh, now we can really see those urban areas, how they really stick out. So those previous places I mentioned, uh, Columbus, Ohio, and, uh, and those urban counties like St. Louis, uh, and Chicago, Indianapolis, Memphis, Atlanta, we can see how those blue areas really expand. And so what we're doing now is we're using proportional symbol maps, but at the county level, we can kind of see those urban areas and how they really stand out. So let's take it one more step further. We know that if a county, if it's, you know, if one more person votes a uh, Republican uh, than uh, in a county, that means it's all red. We know that that county, if only one more person voted Republican than Democrat, it's actually 50-50, so it's more like purple. And so what they did here was the county level map where we actually kind of relate how close of, of a victory it was. And so if it's a, a blowout, it was bright, bright, bright red or bright, bright, bright blue. Uh, but if it was more 50-50, uh, we can see that purple. And so once again, we see some themes I've mentioned beforehand. Our coasts uh, in our urban areas, very much, uh, very much blue. Uh, our rural areas, Great Plains, Rocky Mountains, and many, uh, many parts, more red areas. Those suburban areas, we can really see almost those suburban rings around each of those urban counties. Um, kind of that blend into the red areas that are quite rural. Finally, the most I, I can't melt your minds any further. Uh, so this takes all those various uh, components. And yeah, I realize it doesn't look like we can, you know, it looks like just a chaos here. But nonetheless, some things you should note is we have these blue urban areas surrounded by these purple rings. And then it gets out into one, when we get to more rural, sparsely populated areas, more of that bright red. But you can see those purple rings that surround the blue uh, blue clusters of urban areas. Once again, these elections are going to be focusing on those suburban areas. Here we have a comic uh, that showcases the whole urban versus rural and those suburban areas being quite 50-50. I would argue one of the best maps that was produced out of the 2012 election uh, combined a lot of the ideas from Mark Newman with the whole purple, blue, red, all of that, combines it with population density, and now we can see a map that's a little bit more reflective of the United States. And so we're not so much this area of stark red, stark blue, we're actually more of an area where we're more purple. We're very much in the middle. But we can see those, definitely those uh, urban areas, those rural areas, and all the various patterns we've mentioned so far in these video lecture discussions on the 2012 election.